Hey, Hickok 45 here. Got an interesting little bolt action I thought I'd show you today. It's the CZ527. You may be familiar with this. I really was not. But a friend of ours who's lent us two or three, maybe four guns, uh, has this, had this, still has it. We're just borrowing it. And uh, he really likes it and uh, wanted to know if I wanted to use it in a video or just shoot it. So I said, eh, I don't know much about it. Yeah. But it's really a cool little bolt action gun. So I'm really glad he, uh, he almost had to talk me into it. It fires the 7.62 by 39 round. You can get it chambered in 223, you know, uh, maybe uh, another caliber too. It's a little carbine model, carbine carbine, right? Let's argue about that. Made in Czech, uh, in the Czech Republic. And it's, as you can see, it is pretty short. Uh, it does have a fairly long stock on it though so it's just right up my alley has a, a I think they call it a micro uh, Mauser bolt you got another just shorter uh, Mauser type bolt with controlled feet and of course that's uh, <laughs> the most copied bolt on the planet because it works so uh, a nifty little gun even has a you see the safety there has a set trigger once you cocked you push forward on the rear trigger and that turns it into a very light target trigger. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Probably shouldn't snap it too many times. So I'll do that. Okay. And it uh, feeds from a magazine. Like a little baby scout rifle, isn't it? In a way. Holds five rounds. Don't think there are any other uh, magazines available, you know, in higher capacities or anything. But uh, that's how it operates. Kind of the basics of it. Uh, just a nifty little gun. Uh, and, and you know these cartridges, you know that I like the uh, 762 by 39 and uh, even the 223 makes for uh, an interesting little gun and uh, cartridge combination because you know that stuff is not free but it's not as expensive as buying say uh, 243 hunting rounds or something you know, like that. But anyway, let's just take a couple shots with it, quick dabbing. All right. Uh. It's got pretty good sights on it too. Need a little paint on that front side or something. It's uh, disappearing on me here today in this uh, poor lighting, but uh, nice little, nice little sight. Let's try a bowling pin. Yeah, I'm losing the sight. Let me find the sight. There it is. Okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Let's find the sight again. There it is. <laughs> I don't know if you know what I was up to there. When I say find the front sight, you know, if you're looking into a dark uh, target area and you can't really see the sight that clearly, you've moved the gun over just to make sure you're aligned with that front sight. Something's a little bit lighter. You could even do the sky, but just to make sure you're aligned and then you feel better about it. Okay. But that's a pretty nifty little gun. And of course that cartridge is like, as you know, uh, 7.62 by 39. It's just a wonderful intermediate cartridge. It's uh, one I brag about quite often. Because, in, and one of the reasons I was interested in the 300 uh, AAC Blackout, you know, comparable to this. So, let's put five in there. And take a couple more shots. Let's see what else about this have I not shown you. Uh, that's your safety mechanism works well. Your mag release is right there. That's a rear sight for those who don't know. And that's a front sight. And uh, you got mounts here. You can slide on, uh, you know, a telescope if you want to. Telescopic sight. It even has a caliber on the barrel, 7.62 by 39. So we are firing the correct cartridge in it. That's always good to know, huh? <laughs> that's beautiful stock. Uh, I guess they couldn't find any of that rare laminate wood and they had to use walnut But uh, it is a variation of walnut, maybe European, I forget, but it's, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? This is a, uh, well this would be a good gun for anybody uh, This would have been a nifty gun for, for John when he was like 10 years old or something or growing, you know, Even though the stock is not all that short But just a handy little rifle that fires around that uh, is not all that expensive if you have, for example, uh, an AK-47, and doesn't everybody, <laughs> uh, 
or another firearm that fires that round, then this is a kind of a companion to that. I feel the need for sugar water. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's one he's really brave up close. Well, who thinks he is? <laughs> okay, now we'll go back out there and or the disc again. Yeah, it'd be hard to miss with this thing. <laughs> As I miss it. <laughs> All right. Now, it's not high capacity, but everything does not have to be high capacity. Uh, there we go. I don't know, maybe somebody makes a magazine that holds 50 rounds. You know, you can rest it on your big toe. Don't know about that. By the way, this gun is a very quality piece. Uh, the owner was telling me, he talked to the uh, people in uh, Kansas City about it. I believe that's where the, yeah, CZ USA in Kansas City was telling him that uh, how they make the barrel and they rifle the barrel all in one operation that uh, it's just uh, an incredible they've got some machine that uh, forms it's a hammer forged barrel multi-million dollar machine so it uh, it's probably a highly accurate gun if you wanted to fire something besides this uh, kind of surplus ammo in it bench rest it put a scope on it I would expect especially since it's a CZ not exactly a shoddy company right you'd probably get some amazing accuracy. You might get some amazing accuracy out of these rounds. We probably underestimate this uh, old surplus ammo. It always does fine for me. Of course, what do I know? <laughs> like I said, it'd be hard to miss that plate, wouldn't it? I just wanted to make myself uh, a liar there. All right, we have a big orange liter. I'm going to try to hit him near the top with this thing. I sailed right past the little cap, I guess. <laughs> Who with me? All right. Got one close here. Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> Anyway, we won't shoot 500 rounds with it. Uh, that is a pretty nifty little gun. Uh, you know, a, a bolt gun really has its place. They're, uh, they're known for their accuracy, for those who don't know that. Because uh, once you get that round really locked in there like that, it's, uh, you know, there's just no movement. No springs, no moving bolts that you're operating or anything. It's locked in. And uh, known as one of the most, if not the most, uh, accurate action out there and uh pretty gun really handy size wouldn't mind having one of these i might not return this one either i like that so anyway the cz 527 looks to me like uh, you could do a lot worse if you wanted a small bolt action uh, rifle that fires a very popular uh common you know easily found round so anyway life's pretty good <laughs>